Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is Bourbon County 2015 and this is a, I don't know if you guys can see it, October 26, 2015 uh, bottling, which is actually an affected uh, bottling or as they say. So not all the bottles, by the, by the way, in, within the datings are actually infected. So as you see, I actually don't have the next sticker because with the refund, you take a picture of the label, you send the next sticker in. So what we have here is a really cool review. Basically, we're going to find out if it's A, infected, I'm going to review an infected beer, or it's going to be a non-infected 2015, and I can compare it to the recent pre-release 2016 bottle that I just reviewed. So um, yeah, let's see what happens. Pours out pretty nicely. Looks like Burham County for sure. I uh, can't tell uh, from the appearance if it's infected or not. Let's get the aroma on this one. Mm, okay. Again, like it's so hard to like, you know, you have an expectation. You're not quite sure. Like, what am I supposed to be smelling? Is it supposed to be infected or not? Right. So it's a little chilled actually. So that might be where I'm um, hitting it. But yeah, um, I'm getting a little bit of like dark fruit kind of quality, like maybe a little bit more um, intense uh, for the beer. Yeah, and it, it smells like old and a little bit musty. Nice sweetness, bourbon. Okay, cheers. Hmm. No, this tastes great. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I was like looking for it on the aroma. Tastes fantastic. Uh, I have had infected bottles before, and I will say it's actually not the worst beer of all time. Again, it's, it's like very dark fruity. It has this like light kind of like little bit of tart quality to it. It actually tastes a little bit like a, um, a barrel aged dark sour, but this is actually delicious. Um, oh man, this is, as I taste it more, I'm like waiting for the tasting notes. I'm like about to dig in, but then you get an aftertaste of that wonderful like coconut and vanilla, just like digging on the palate and you're like, oof. Up front, wonderful amounts of dark fruit. Um, more that kind of um, cherry plum kind of thing. Very nice. A little bit of uh, tobacco digging on the palate. Uh, wonderful depth of dark chocolate. A little bit of that charred oak coming through. Uh, the sweetness is uh, pretty pulled back. You get a little bit of like roasted malt and coffee bitterness on the back end. More of that vanilla and coconut just developing the palate. Uh, leathery notes too. Mm. Yeah. So having this beer right now, I want to say... Either vintage, age, blah, blah, blah. This bottle is better than 2016 that I had. I and mean, 2016 was absolutely amazing, but this is so good. There's a wonderful depth of like sweetness from the dark fruit and the sweetness of the beer. The, the sweetness is actually pulled back a little bit on this beer compared to the, the 2016 bottle because you get that depth of dark chocolate, roasted malt, coffee, um, that charred oak is really popping very well. This moves on the palate very nicely. There's a little bit more of that kind of like, even leaning towards a little bit of umami. And there's a really nice robust quality that hits this beer, uh, whereas 2016 to me tastes a little bit just like flatter and sweeter. Again, that beer was so amazing as well, but this is absolutely fantastic. Um, again, this reminds me of like me doing the video of 2015. This is the best vintage ever, right? Best fin fresh vintage ever. Uh, this stands up just as well as that. And so very happy. Again, for the people that, again, I got $15 from Goose Island for this, but this bottle was not infected. So I'm enjoying this bottle right now. I probably only paid about $10, 11 And so again, uh, for the people that hit the deadline, it's a very unfortunate for the people that didn't hit the deadline, that they were, again, able to pay for a bottle, expecting all of it to be, uh, or some, most of it to be infected, but some of it is not. And so I'm enjoying a wonderful beer. Thank you so much, Goose Island, for the refund. And I'm enjoying amazing beer. This beer is absolutely phenomenal. 100 plus out of 100, 100 plus out of 100. This bottle is so good right now. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Uh, let me know if you have experiences with bottles that are um, infected or non-infected. Later. Cheers.